Regina Danes husband says he regrets marrying Regina Danes for pushing his staff into a swimming pool. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Stay tuned for full details. Welcome to AD Fun Updates, the home of unlimited entertainment. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. On our topic today, Regina Daniels husband says he regrets marrying Regina Daniels. But before we get into the full details and why he said so, please appreciate our effort by giving this video a like. And if you are new to our channel, please tap the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for notification so you won't miss any update. So without wasting your time, let's get into the video. A few days ago, a video surfaced online of Regina Danes pushing her, her staff Sandra into a swimming pool for arguing with her, which she claimed was the result of pregnancy hormones. Hmm. I don't know anything about pregnancy, but you guys should tell me that in the comment section. Do you think this was a, 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 a result of pregnancy hormones or was it done intentionally? More than two lives. What is this perfect like? Sandra, you argue too much. Please just. <laughs> You know, I feel really bad for pushing Sandra. That wasn't intentional. Pregnancy hormones, I get easily angry when things are not done my way. It wasn't intentional. So tell me what you think about that. So coming to Ned Ngoko's side, just a few days after the incident, Ned Ngoko posted on his Instagram page where he said, I regret my fifth marriage. But if you check where, Regina Daniels was Ned Ngoko's fifth wife. So he was just indirectly saying he regret marrying Regina Daniels. I also think this was what prompted Regina Daniels to make the apology video. And this is not the first time Regina Daniels insulted or shouted at Sandra. Even during the baby shower preparation, there was, all, there was always an argument between them. Just like they did here. So why are you arguing with me? I said I want this hair, Sandra. Although this Sandra is stubborn, no, but Regina Dennis should calm down. Why is she always angry? Hmm, maybe let, let's agree it's the pregnancy now. So I will leave to you to enjoy the rest of the video and look where you may spot another argument between Regina Dennis and one of one of her staffs. Enjoy. For. <laughs> it's finally here. We're excited, we're nervous, we are worried. She's almost here and decoration like it's supposed to be blue and then it's pink. Like, oh my god, I'm so scared. I know it's so hard to impress you now. Like, eh? I'm scared, <laughs> and I'm so nervous, man. So, and then we're worried that she probably found out. She knows already and she's just going to play along. Yeah, <laughs> so it's as if everything we're planning since is rubbish. Like <laughs> and she's almost here, guys. Yeah. Hi guys. So we're so excited. We planned this very nice, beautiful baby shower for Gina. We hope that she loves it. Yeah, <laughs> she will love it. Beautiful. It's white themed. Everyone is here, like the whole family. And yeah, the whole family is here. The kids, everybody. We know she will love it. Obviously. You better love it. <laughs> I hope she really likes it. I'm excited about this one. is here now and she's outside everybody's inside waiting for her everyone is inside waiting for her everyone is ready to shout surprise, surprise! looking forward to was the expression on her face I want to know if she was genuinely happy if she was surprised if she knew but I, I was the one that was surprised because the moment she walked in immediately 
immediately we shouted surprise. Tina started to cry. No, she didn't cry immediately. That was even the funny part. No. She was still for me, hard girl. Hard. That was what just called me. She told me. No, I, no, no, she didn't, she didn't cry immediately. When she walked in, she was still, oh, oh, no, you know, she was. Everyone in my family except me, including my husband. He tells me almost everything. To think he actually kept this part of this this thing a secret. He, my husband is not really the part type, but he also cooperated with them. I'll forever be grateful for that as well. The day I still didn't want to come out. Oh my goodness, Leila called me and called. I was like, I can't, I'm tired. So I just had to find my strength and then I went to her place. You know, she, she, she had everything ready for me. And then I was still, ah, this photo shoot must be something new. And then that's it. I got into the car and then here I am at my baby shower. Something I only dreamt of. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> to have a baby shower but the corona and everything I already gave up on it but for my friends to still pull this baby shower I don't see myself as someone so emotional someone that can you know cry or something but I don't know where to start from in appreciating them but they did so much. This meant so much to me. Our little baby boy will forever appreciate them for this. Grading, degrading, degrees and that. Because of different. the light, we needed to put this. Put what, Sandra? From the one, I told you we need more than two lights. But this is perfect light. Like Sandra, you argue too much. Please, just... <laughs> you know, I feel really bad for pushing Sandra. That wasn't intentional. Please, can I get so well? <laughs> Pregnancy hormones. I get easily angry when things are not done my way. It wasn't intentional.
she was the vibe. Like, while we were in school, we are always arguing, like, who had the vibe, who had the vibe. I was always arguing with her, but today so just proved it. Because if I was pregnant, I wouldn't do that, man. I wouldn't have that energy. It was epic. I was so happy. Like, we had fun.